Hello everyone, in this revision tutorial I am going to show you how you can use the planarity algorithm to find whether a graph is planar or not. Now, In order to find out whether a graph is planar you first need to identify a Hamiltonian cycle in the graph and then you need to draw a regular polygon with all the arcs matching the edges in the Hamiltonian cycle and then you put in the remaining edges inside of the polygon so from this moment now on I am assuming that you've done that so if you have a graph and if you want to know whether it is planar but you haven't found the Hamiltonian cycle in it yet then you need to find the Hamiltonian cycle and draw it like this so once you have your graph drawn like this then you first need to make a list of all the edges that are inside of the graph, so not outside but inside. Okay, so once you've done that, draw a vertical line across them. Okay, so to start off with, we pick the, you can pick any edge, but we're going to pick the first edge here, which is AF, and we are going to label it I, and we are basically saying that the edge is inside the polygon. Okay. So you've just labeled AF inside, and then we look at any edges which cross the edge that we have just labelled. Uh, so the edges that cross AF are GB and GC and GE. Okay, now And now we can see that these three edges don't cross. But if they would cross then we would have a problem and that would mean that this graph wouldn't be plain about they don't cross. So we basically say that we've got the edges GB GC and GE. We are just going to use those lines to, to mark them that they are edges which cross the edge we've, which we have just labelled and now we are going to give them the opposite label. So we've had I and now we say O for outside. So if you've just labelled an edge I you label it O and if you've just labelled an edge O then you label it I. So they are three O's. Okay. Now, every time you label some edges, you now need to look on all of the edges which cross the edges that you have just labeled. So I'm just going to rule this off for here. So now we look at GB, and the edges that cross it are AF and AE and AD but we are only going to mark the edges that are unlabeled. So if, if the edges has already been labeled, we're going to put a cross, and if it hasn't, then we're going to put a line. So we look at GB, and it has AF. AF's already been labeled, but just to show that it crosses it, we're just going to put a cross there, just for visual purposes. So we look at GB, we've got AF, AE. AE has not been labeled yet. And AD. So we look at the edges which we have just labelled and once again we see whether they cross each other or not. So AE and AD, yeah, they, they don't cross each other so we're fine. So we are just going to give them the opposite label. So previously we labelled these O so we are now going to label these I. But we also need to look at these edges here because we need to look at all the edges which we have labelled before so we still have GC to look at actually so GC has AF so we're not going to actually worry about the labels yet for now we're just going to add them in later but I was getting a bit too far ahead of myself there so we still need to look at these so GC you can see it's got AF we've already done that 
A E. Yep, that's been marked. So we just look at all the edges which cross all of these that we've labelled. So A D. G C actually. A F. Yep. A E. A D. Okay, we've just marked that one. And B D. So we now look at all the edges which we've underlined. Not cross, but underlined. Actually, we need to get to G as well. So G E that has A F. Yeah, it's been done. Okay, so once we've gone through all of the edges which have been previously labelled, we can see all of the edges which cross them that have not been labelled yet. So we only consider those unlabeled ones. So not A F. We've got A E, A D, and B D, and we want to see if they cross each other. So. So. A, E, A, D, and B, D. No, they don't. Okay, we're good. So we're going to give them the I label. Okay, and now we rule that off. Okay, so now. We've labelled A, A, D, and B, D. So once again, we look through every edge that we've just labelled here, and we just take note of any unlabeled ed edges that cross them. So A, E. We've got G, B. That's already been labelled, so we're going to mark it with a cross. G, C. Yeah, that's labelled. Uh, so we find A, E. And yeah, those are the edges that cross AE. So now we look at AD. We've got GB. Yeah, we've done that. GC. Yep. And CE. Oh, we haven't, and it's not labelled, so we're just going to put that line under there. Okay, so we've only got one edge. We don't need to worry about any edges that cross each other, and we've gone through all of them now. So we've made a list of all the edges that cross the ones that we've just labelled before. So. CE, we are going to give this label of outside. And then we pull that off. So now we are going to look at the edges which cross CE, which are AD, and we have already labeled that one. BD, oh, we haven't. AD and BD, yeah, th those are the two only edges, but the only unlabeled one is BD, and that is just a standalone edge. So we label it as inside. So we can now see that all of the edges have now been labeled, and because we got to the stage where all of them are labeled, we can say that the graph is planar. However, if we would have, for example, got into a scenario where, like, one edge does not have any edges crossing on it, then we would just pick another edge again and label it inside, and then we repeat the whole process. But if we would have noticed that any edges crossed each other, then we would say that the graph is non-planar. But, as you can see here, all, all the edges are now labelled, and we can now know whether one is inside or outside, so... We can now draw our graph. So I'm going to draw the planar graph over here. Okay, so we are now going to draw the edges which are meant to be inside. Thing. Oh, actually, we noticed that we've, we've we said we've labelled BD while it was already labelled. So I'm just going to replace this with, a, with an X here. Okay, that's better. So, we can see that AF is inside, so we just basically draw it inside. AE is inside. AD is inside. And GB is outside. Now, with the outside edges, you kind of have to be more careful. But we're going to go to the outside edges. We've got BD, which is inside. Okay. So if you 
take a look we've got so G goes to B and then C and then E and then E goes to C okay we can draw it like this G first to B and then to C and then to E and then E to C so here we go our graph is now planar and this is how you would draw it to make it look planar and that is basically the planarity algorithm so thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video helpful if you did please con consider liking or even subscribing to be notified of future videos goodbye